I'm going to show you how to go to our website, freeemulator.com, to download the Project 64 Nintendo 64 emulator for Windows. It is by far the best N64 emulator out there, so you want to give it a try if you're looking to emulate it. Uh, we'll go ahead and you can click the image, the text for the Download Now button to download it. Go ahead and click OK to save it to the hard drive. As soon as it's done save, downloading, saving it to the hard drive, you can go ahead and close out of Firefox. Open up the folder real quick we saved it to. Right click and extract it here with WinRAR. That'll create a new folder. Go into that and open up the exe file. Go ahead and close out of the folder. You can choose a different language if you like. There's tons of options here. Go ahead and leave it as English. Click OK. And that'll bring up the main window. Real quick, we'll go to Help and About. You can see we're running version 2.1.0.1. .1. Pretty cool, the latest version. Under File, you can go to Open ROM. Set your language. You can choose a ROM directory where it'll show a list of ROMs on your main window instead of having to browse for it each time. You can refresh the list as well, or you can exit. Option, you can go to full screen, configure your graphics plugin. We'll do that real quick. The windowed resolution, you have tons of options here if your video card supports it. For these recordings, I like to go with 1280 by 960. Click that real quick. Full screen resolution, tons of options there too. Mine's just on 1080p. You have different filtering you can set. Um, you have anti-aliasing you can set as well. If you're running a game, you can actually choose these texture filters to help improve the graphics. Pretty cool. Go ahead and click OK and get out of here. Go back to Options. Go to Configure Audio Plugin. There's not a whole lot you can do here. Move your audio slider to control the volume. You can start and stop a recording. That's about it there. And under Options to Configure Controller Plugin, you can configure up to four players, four different controllers. And you can use a gamepad right here. It says none right now. I don't have anything plugged in, but I usually have an Xbox 360 controller plugged in. You can configure it right there. You want to make sure the controller's plugin is checked. You have a memory pack. Here you can set it, each individual um, key or um, controller function, if you like. Or you can do it all from right here. You can load and save um, your configuration as well. So next we'll go to real quick to help, and you can see there's a user, man user manual, game facts, support form, home page, we've already been to the about page. And then here you can just go to file, open ROM, and then you're good to go. One thing real quick about freeemulator.com, we only host emulators, we do not host any ROMs. So I suggest just doing a, a Google search form and you can find them pretty easily. If you have any suggestions or questions, please let us know by leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.